This is Otto Crosswind on why I feel like I should have a feminine side as part of my goals this year. If more specifically, why I believe my feminine energy is important to have even for my masculine frame is concerned. And even more than that, why I feel like a girl, female, or whatever. Uh, the thing with this is that every man and even boy, I guess, and, and they have very weird connotations for both, but like every man and even boy however you're gonna go about this yourselves I guess uh, however cliche or even not mainstream because but uh, every per every ma masculine male is going to have to have their masculine frame adjusted one point or another because that's the most important part anyways not, not gonna lie but it does make all the difference to have a feminine side or feminine energy or feminine frequency no not like that one not that kind of <laughs> but uh the creator <laughs> oh my gosh that feminine frequency uh but to have that kind of uh implementation where you do have a feminine side and you're able to go with it with your masculine frame if you're a guy and you're able to use that so that you have the best of both worlds but you're not you're not compromising your masculinity but you're also able to adjust to a feminine uh, approach which makes you an even better person than you normally would be if you were just boring but you know or even not as effective as a person but no matter what that would mean as for women yes that even applies for them vice versa if they have a masculine energy with their feminine frame then they are Equally, not they're not the same like us, but like, unfortunately, that there's biological differences for stars, and then there's other differences that we all, all, all we all have not so obviously, but this needs to be understood. Like there are differences between, between males and females, but but for feminines, like if they can have a masculine uh, side and energy along with their feminine frame, which this is not commonly said like that, but you know, they too will have a better personality uh, wise. I guess they'll have a way to approach life better than if they were boring or even less effective uh, as per them. And yeah, so my thing with me feeling, I'm not transgender, I'm not a LGBTQ, I mean, LGBTQ could mean different things for those things associated wise, but I'm not transgender, I'm not male to female, female to male, so I'm not the kind of person who would just swap their gender just to fucking uh, prove something, or even if it was more meaningful than that, and I understand how that works, I'm not, I'm not transphobe, I'm just someone who never had to adjust like that, I, I'm based being a guy, I'm grateful I'm a guy, but with no offense to them again. But like, but I, I never had to be the kind of person who was ashamed of being a guy or anything like that. So I, I was already proud of being a guy, like I said. But more than that, I, I already felt like I, I t I've told both guys and girls this. That I've, uh, I felt like a girl and I felt like, I, I, I act like a female sometimes. And sometimes they'll give me like crap about that. They'll be like, they'll give me spite of that and be like, uh, <laughs> not, not you. You're, with all your, uh, masculine hairs and your, uh, your deep tonality, your, Abrasive attitude sometimes, I guess. Not, not, not that they ever said that, but you know. But the, the act, but indeed, I act too much like a guy in their stead. That I, that me saying I act like a girl or a female is going to is going to come off as what the heck to them, you know. So, so I say that though because I, uh, because there are parts of me that have very silver linings to to women. They're like the, my intuition, intuitiveness. Uh, my creativity, my emotional capacity, even though I'm detached from again because of no PMO, uh, not the only reason, but you know other things, maybe childhood trauma as well, because uh, PMO is not the only reason you're having suffering. I guess it's not the only. That's not the worst problem you have. It's not, but so emotional capacity, intuition, creativity, flexibility, all the like, you know, just these things that make you seem like, oh, and patience, yeah, all, all these and reassurance, whatever, assertiveness, whatever, uh, insight, I guess, yeah. All these things that would make me seem like a uh, a person that is obviously a guy but has all these connections to uh, female nature, and that's just uh, I'm, that's something I'm very proud of. I I, don't, I know that sounds creepy and stupid to other pe people, but like it's true for me. It's like it's like a it's a very uh, very busting busting thing. So as far as that goes, even I would want to work on my mask on frame to, to make it the best it could possibly be, and if if not, make it the priority. But I embrace the female nature because I know that there are things I can do with it. That can make me a better person. Again, not boring and not ineffective. That can actually make me a good person. I can uh, really benefit from that and be the kind of person I want to be. And people are like, when people tell me in response to that, you do you, boo, that makes me feel really bad. Because it's like, it, there are very few things again on my nerves. But like, but, but to, to, make, to make you dismissive of my intentions, even if you didn't have no way of knowing them, and you just... Uh, you, you say, oh, just be free, but still be considered at the same time. No, neither of those things. I am a free spirit for different reasons. I'm a concerned person for different reasons. I'm not the same philosophy and ideal of those rules or laws 
or guarantee, guarantee nots, facts, logic, whatever. See, I'm going to say that as a man, but still think that there are things that can apply feminine-wise. So if you think my philosophy makes me also kind of female nature, then yeah, I guess, but, you know, or my uh, con confusions or my uh, uh, abstractness, you know. Yeah, so I do act a lot like a guy otherwise. Even I know that, but whenever I say act like a girl or a female, it's not because I'm trying to uh, be a flirtatious bastard. It's just kind of like a... Although I do, I do sexualize and fetishize certain things for my own aesthetic and style reasons. Not always, not always in the bad, worst way, but, you know. And I make that sound normal. I'm sorry I did. But <laughs> I should not have to care, though. But it helps I do. So it, it just comes down to... I, I know it will sound like, oh, it's my life, my rules, whatever. No, I wouldn't have to make it like, I, I, I like that. I can negotiate these things with you guys. I can negotiate my per identity, obviously. Like, I, not as obviously other people who haven't heard like this before, but like, per Jordan Pearson's ideal of negotiating what you think is you versus what other people think is you, and then work from there and all that. So, with feminine nature and feminine side, feminine energy, and the, the aura, mana of that, however you many are in Brahmacharya or Pranayama, <laughs> doing all that cool stuff, better stuff, like, uh, actually tapping into that uh um you know like type, type in sin bad or young bell whatever props to them i guess i'm not gonna link them yet but i'm uh, just have this video be raw but um you know just basically i'm not saying that you can't just tell me what to do i'm i'm saying that like I'm not saying I'll have complete independence and control of everything. I want I want people to influence me. I'm not saying that in a mature way. I'm saying that in a in a in accepting invitational way. I want people I want people to influence me and, and trespass my boundaries. At least the ones I want them to trespass. Obviously, because I'm that person who doesn't believe in them, and still but works back, back works backwards to add them under my life. But uh, yeah, just convince me convince me not. Try to see if you can tell me to be a man or or embrace my feminine energy or side otherwise, and then. We can indeed go from there. It is a really neat thing that I can actually have both and not have to compress one or the other. But not having an equal amount, either one technically, but you know, just to put that out there. I already gave you enough examples about feminine slide. Feminine er masculine energy is more like um, bluntness in a good way, it is uh, endurance in a very good way, it is flexibility and excel. No, a different kind of flexibility, which is I call it acceleration for guys. Which is one of the best things about being a guy, actually. Uh, it's acceleration. They start from zero up to, up to, up to getting their glory, whatever. But if that even that was a cliche, what I mean by acceleration is they are able to pick themselves up with endurance, but also in a way that they don't have to... They're very creative, too. Like, guys have their own kind of creativity, not just women. But, like, but we are so different. So, like, if, if women are technically omniscient, then men have that acceleration where they can, they can pick themselves back up. I, again, that doesn't have to apply to the, the stereotype that women start with everything to nothing, but it's like a, you know, it's just a, just my philosophy is for what I think guys and women, guys or girls are. There are pros and cons for each one. There are pros and cons for each one, indeed, indeed but they're all different kinds of them. So, you know. And that's just a, uh, that's just how, I, I, I mean, I, I want to approach this logically, obviously, but I also want to make sure I'm, I'm doing this right, well on my own terms. So I just, with my own terms and your terms as well, negotiating those things. I'm the kind of person who will say that and be crazy because I know that not a lot of people will agree with me about that. They'll, they'll be like, no, just do you do, boo. And I'll be like, were you watching this video? Did you not just hear me say that? That's my pet peeve. <laughs> you know, uh, even if I deserve to hear that, eh, criticism, fear. But what I will say is that by the end of this year, because that was one of my goal years, your goals, was comedy, multitasking, and feminine side. And then if I get any of those in check for the rest of the year, that'd be pretty good. Twenty twenty one, and then I just uh, I was hoping that beyond that year, this year, I'll be able to make sure that I had a masculine, feminine, feminine side and go from there. Not in that exact order, or not in that exact uh, approximation, and being OCD, I guess, or whatever. But to actually work with something that I think is well, good for me, and, I, and because I do everything for a reason, but I also negotiate everything, then that's the best of both worlds, anyways, as well as those two worlds, male and female. But you know, stay still, everyone, because Thomas is on the move. This is your, well, I think I'm going to call this as 2.5% inside SIB or whatever. If not, I'll just, I'll just make it a, a two, one or two uh, videos per day thing if I do this every day. But yeah, yeah, just as long as I don't run out of breath and as long as I don't uh, run out of ideas, either which I won't be hard on myself because I never, I never hard on myself. People think that, I don't know why. But yeah, I just, uh, see you guys later. I will come back with another video today if I can, if, that for the two videos in that day, every day. So yeah, thank you guys.